Hello, guys! Привет! Здравствуйте, добро пожаловать! Привет-привет! Um, today we're going to be watching a movie, which is called Night of the Living Dead. And initially, initially, my plan was to watch three horror movies this weekend, but I just watched the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. If you haven't checked my reaction, I think it's coming before I would post this one. Check it out because that was something. I'm gonna stop on that. Um, so I'm not gonna do all three horror movies this weekend. I am gonna wait a little bit before I would watch the next one. But I really wanted to watch Night of the Living Dead. Mostly because this movie is from 1968. So I think it's gonna be pretty fun. And because the movie is also in black and white. Um, I haven't watched a lot of black and white movies over this couple of years that I've been doing YouTube, so I'm very much excited and I hope you cannot hear in my voice, but I'm a little bit sick again, so if my emotions are a little bit lower today, it's only because the Tylenol is running out, you know, <laughs> in my body. So, um, let's jump to the movie. I would put the volume a little bit down because I'm afraid it's gonna be something like with the music, you know? Okay, so immediately we are going to cemetery. Is it dirt or those like gunshots? They ought to make the day the time changes the first day of summer. We've got a three hour drive back. We're not going to be home until after midnight. We're either going to have to move mother out here or move the grave into Pittsburgh. Is there any of that candy left? I don't even remember what the man looks like. It takes you five minutes. Mother wants to remember, so we trot 200 miles into the country. Back on. Oh, oh it's a Pontiac car. I remember the windows that you need to roll. Nothing wrong with the radio. Um, you know, if whenever you start a horror movie in a cemetery, you know that the horror movie is going to be quite... Scary. Look, I already lost an hour's sleep on the time change. Each year we spend good money on these things. I okay, he's very wonder pragmatic how many times or something. Bought the same one. Such a cute tie. Necktie he has. He doesn't seem to have a lot of emotions inside of him. I don't know how to explain, but doesn't seem particularly like, sad or feeling, you know, because... Do you remember one time when we were small, we were out here? You're still afraid. Stop it now, I mean it. Coming for you, Barbara. Oh my god, there is actually someone in Stop there. Stop it. There comes one of them now. That's actually Night of the Living Dead. So it's gonna be about zombies. Wait, actually we're coming to get her, you know? Oh, he hurt his head. Oh my god, that is so, like, old-school movie, you know? It's like, that's so, such a cool moment, such a cool shot. He probably... Oh, I thought he has a keys. Yes. Why would you leave a key in the ignition, right? Oh my god, he's gonna take this... Oh, She should run. Yes, at least she's not gonna be... Do you think the guy is dead or he's unconscious? Well, this is a very well-determined zombie, you know? But I guess he doesn't really have anything to do. It's a very nice and clean house. First thing she needs to do is to find shoes. Okay. Or knife. 
Did something bad happen here? Ooh, smart, smart. But it's probably not working. Yes, that's what I would think. None of the phones ever work in the horror movies. Oh my god, there are more! Well, I would say they're actually quite handsome for zombies. She got very lucky finding this place, and especially that no one is in this house. Oh, I see why there is no one. No, 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 don't, don't run there. What the hell is going on? Who is this? The truck is out of gas. This pump out here is locked. Is there a key? I suppose you've tried this. Huh? I wonder how much he knows. Look, it seems that it's not his first day dealing with that, you know? Jeez. It looks like it's been a while since whoever this is has been dead. We have to get away. There's some other people. <laughs> Maybe give her like a couple minutes, you know? I'll see if I can find some food. Oh, sh this is from the corpse. How would corpse have that much blood, you know? Because it looks like it's been there for so long already. What's happening? Oh, I guess they're not taking the car. They're also very smart zombies. There are two of them out there. Have you seen any more around here? Don't throw! Okay, he's hyster she's hysterical, but can you blame her in a situation like that? But here's the thing, how do you kill a zombie? Like, you cannot kill some something that is already dead. Do you need to burn them? Or behead them? I haven't watched enough movies about zombies, so I don't know the proper way of killing them. Oh my god! He actually did take care of those two. Oh my god! Can you put the zombie unconscious if they don't have conscious, you know? Ugh. I wonder how many how many men did he take off this day? And the fact that he's not really running from them, you know? Oh, he won't be able to take all of them though. It's too many. I know we're in here now. <gasps> he is gonna burn him. But if he's gonna be burning him, isn't he gonna burn the house just by the body burning, you know? Okay, he put it in the ground, okay. I don't think she would survive without him, though. He seems to know exactly what he's doing. It looks like it's her favorite spot. We have to try to board the house up together. Now I want you to go in and get some wood so I can board the place up. Judging the fact that there is a, we are literally at the cemetery, it means that there are going to be unlimited amount of these zombies in there. He's very resourceful. So far, she's not really showing herself to be very helpful at all, but she's in shock, right? I I would behave even worse if I would be in a situation like that. She haven't said a single word, word hey? Strong. If we have to, we can run in here and board up the doors. That's a very nice house, though. I'll give it this, you know? But a big gasoline truck came screaming right across the road. Now, I didn't see them at first. Truck went right across the road. I guess the driver must have cut off the road. Still hear the man screaming. The entire place had been encircled. I was alone. I, I started to drive. I just wanted to crush them. I like the crickets in the background. She's very lucky that he got exactly into this. Johnny and me. Oh, sh I forgot. Came to put a wreath on my father's grave. It's hot in here. Hot. Johnny asked me if I were afraid. And then 
This man started walking up the road. He's coming to get you, Barbara. Right? I mean, that was the creepiest part of it all. And he grabbed me. I think you should just calm down. Oh, oh. oh my God. Like, it's so easy. I got so afraid. I ran and Johnny didn't come. We have to go out and get Johnny. Is he alive, though? We have got to go get Johnny. Your brother is dead. No. She, oh, holy sh She's just loved him. He actually punched her. Not, okay, I'm not on his side very much now. Plus, you know, if it would be my sibling, I would go. This radio station will remain on the air, day and night. There is an epidemic of mass murder. We have some descriptions of the assassins. Are we just chilling out there, you know? Like, ooh, nice car and stuff like that. Because we're not trying to get into the house. Emergency ambulances are literally deluged with calls for help to stay in their homes behind locked doors. In spite of this urging and warning, streets and highways are packed. He spilled so much gasoline in the house, how... I'm just afraid that he's gonna freaking put the house on fire doing stuff like that. Ladies and gentlemen, we've just received word. These zombies look quite chill you know <laughs> like you can outrun them are they gonna try to get in because we showed this door in a close shot you know i wouldn't want to stay with this guy inside you know i would wait then i would do the same thing as he done with like a gasoline and the table chair right and then I'd take it and try to find my brother if he's alive put him in a car you know because he has the keys and then just drive away from there or something like this. Because I know that it's just movie is show like these zombies are terrifying. It's just the movie is not really showing us that they're that terrifying, you know? Oh yeah, she needs shoes. Everyone had guns before, you know, living in a house. Packed. I found a gun and some bullets out there. First reports began. Yeah, I don't think they will be friends. Lock the doors and windows securely. Hey, that's us. We're doing all right. Is he gonna apologize? Look, I don't know if you're hearing me. For hitting him? For hitting her? I'll be back to reinforce the windows and doors later. It also must be hard for him, right? Because he's trying to do everything and she's just, she just feels like she's not there. Eating their victims prompted authorities to examine the bodies this latest bulletin just received moments ago from Cumberland, Maryland. This is bad. The killers are eating the flesh of the people they kill. Well, they said it like 17 times. These are the reports we have been receiving and passing on to you. No one is safe from this wave of mass- <laughs> Oh my god! They were people, right? They weren't zombies. Don't shoot! We're from town. I can use some help up here. That's the cellar. It's the safest place. It's kind of hard to hear what's going on from down there. Back it sounded like the place was being ripped apart. We luck into a safe place, and you're telling us we gotta risk our lives. That's a genuine thing, you know? That's what you do. You got the whole place boarded up? Yeah, most of it. Those things turned over our car. We were damn lucky to get away at all. I don't know. I think it's better be safe than sorry. We could strengthen everything up, Mr. Cooper. I smashed three of them and pushed another one out the door. There's gotta be 20, 30, maybe 100 of those things. The cellar, there's only one door, right? But down in the cellar, there's no place to to run to. Daru. Daru. I'm going back down to the cellar and you better decide. We can make it to the cellar if we have to. I think everyone entitled to do whatever we want to do. At least up here you have a fighting chance. What if we accidentally put the house on fire and then definitely die in the cellar? Oh my god, we tried to get in, we tried to get in now! Ay, 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 ay. Oh wow. I like that for a naked zombie we chose a hot chick. Ew. You've got to get down into the cellar. Go down in that damn cellar. Get out of here! L listen, I got a kid down there. If you're stupid enough to go die in that trap, that's your business. You know I won't open this door again. I mean it. Judy, come on up here, honey. Here's I was expecting like a five-year-old kid. I think it's smart to just run there if you have to. Oh. Well, we're oh, safe now. It's, okay. Is she all right? I don't know what it is. Let them stay upstairs. We'll see. When they come begging me, let them in down here. Does anyone up there know why we're being attacked? The radio said to stay inside. Radio? Wow, she might be. You know, she has attitude too. Take the boards off that door. How are we going to know what's going on if we lock ourselves in this dungeon? That actually makes sense. 
They can always run into this dungeon, though. Dying together isn't going to solve anything. Mr. Cooper, Ben found the television set upstairs. <laughs> See? We do it. Do I have to? Is it because of a girl? That's why they need Judy down there. I'll take good care of her, Helen. They don't want to take her because they don't want to move her in case it would hurt her or something. He seems to be like a very angry, anxious man, you know? It's like, grrr, you never know what to expect from him. Poor little bird, she's afraid of everything now. There's a million weak spots up here. Her brother was killed. And they talk about these windows. Yeah, well, maybe instead of complaining, you should just go and hit the... Why don't you do thing, something you know? to help somebody? Exactly. Hey, you better watch this and try to understand what's going on. If you stay up here, you take orders from me! The wave of murder which is sweeping the eastern third of the nation came from people who were understandably frightened. They had been partially devoured. My God. The persons who have recently died have been returning to life. Civil defense machinery has been organized. Stay tuned to the broadcasting stations in your local area. But they need to get there first. So we have that truck. They're not coming we around and taking There's people. There's a satellite you recall started back to Earth but never got here. It was carrying a mysterious high-level radiation. Oh, that's how they explained it. You're coming from a meeting regarding the explosion of the Venus probe, is that right? It was a very high degree of radiation. Well, just a minute. The radiation is not the cause of the mutation. Everything is uh, being done that can be done. Well, it does seem to have a barrier. Yes. I like he's not really into commentary right now. We're hoping to get some further explanation. Well, yes, I guess their only solution right now is try to get there. It's only about 17 miles from here. Knew the old house was here, and we came in and found the lady upstairs dead. Dr. Grimes, your entire staff... All what I hear is that they have a lot of people. We don't know yet what complications might result from such injuries. You tell Judy to come up here and you stay with the kid, all right? Yeah, that's fair. She's mother. It was dead, but it opened his eyes and tried to move. I'll come back down as soon as I find out what they want. Trash will be by cremation. Well, how long after? Bodies must be burned. Mm. Well, it's easy to do it. Well, not easy, but it's easier to do it to someone you don't know into your own family, you know? We can toss the cocktails from a window upstairs. I can handle the truck, no sweat. No sweat. Nice. After you toss the cocktails, you hustle back down here and lock this door. Then we'll worry about getting everybody into the truck. Is it because the movie is from like um 1960s, you know? They don't put that much pressure on women, you know, to like go get stuff, go do something. You always have a smile for me. Come on, honey, we gotta move. If I could only call the folks, they're going to be so worried about us. Are you sure we're doing the right thing, Tom? Look, I know how to handle that truck, and I can handle the pump. She just wants to protect him. There's gonna be more and more of those things. I know, I know. I know, I know. Oh, she's so cute. We've got to do something, and fast. <gasps> oh! <laughs> I like, I like the drama. Oh, she just wants to I say. I don't want you to go out there. Oh. We have to go downstairs now, Barbara. Then we can all leave. Oh, I'd like to leave. <laughs> I'd like to leave. Good luck. Yeah. Do I even need to take all of them out, right? Because we, those things actually don't. The door opens the other side, right? So these things would not even stop the door from opening or it opens this side. No, well, there are a lot of them. I'm afraid that he's gonna put the house on fire. Like the zombie just like, oh, so scary, so scary. <laughs> this zombie is jacked. Oh my god! Okay, she didn't plan this. Nice! Nice! Put all of them on fire one by one, you know? He probably should have taken two. I've never seen anything like that. So, at your own home you have your own gasoline pump that would be hella convenient you know i love this idea so much oh sh take the good out the car is gonna get them. the whole gasoline thing though coming back to it like once a month you buy enough gasoline for like the whole month and then you just you don't go to these gas stations anymore right because you can do it at home especially if you're living in a house he's with gasoline Take the gasoline, start splashing it. Or like make a circle for yourself and stand in a circle or something. Or just run away from them. <gasps> oh, 
I thought, I thought, you know, that he might be a bad one to freaking stay. Well, it's not like everyone is there, you know? Did the guy and girl got out of the car? Because it looked like they did, but now because we're not even waiting for them, you know? To be fair, he kinda deserves a punch. I would think that this is the creepiest scene. Okay, I take it back, this is the creepiest scene. For some reason, I thought we were able to get off the car. Oh, should we, maybe we should stay there for a little bit. Isn't it three o'clock yet? We better leave soon. You know anything about this area at all? Forget it. It's at least a mile. One of those things grabbed her. Bit her on the arm. One of us could try to get to the car. You gotta turn it over by yourself. Where is it? <laughs> oh, well, they look pretty busy right now. Fighting for food. That's an intense picture right here. Dead bodies will continue to be transformed. Pool can be killed by a heavy blow to the skull. Heavy blow. That's what she said. Kill the brain and you kill the ghoul. But they don't have a brain though. Chief McClellan, how's everything going? Oh, things aren't going too bad. We killed 19 of them today right in this area. If they're making all these kind of operations, just wait inside the house then. Beat them or burn them, they go up pretty easy. Would you say you ought to be able to wrap this up in 24 hours? But there are so many of them. This is Bill Cardill, WIC TV 11 News. So long as the heavy rain... Okay, maybe staying in a house is not gonna work. The power lines are down. Two people are dead already on account of that guy. And what, is he gonna take him out? Or... Oh, sh are we gonna try to get into the house now? Is it because we're getting hungrier? Okay, we'll have to run. He's not very helpful. Go ahead. You wanna stay up here now? This is stupid. This is it's like there is outside problem why he's creating a things worse inside. We should not be fighting each other, we should be fighting zombies. This is like survival 101, you know. Oh he shot her husband in front of her eyes. He's a very violent man, you know. He already punched the girl. Punched the guy and now he shot the guy. I know that he's trying to save himself, but kinda, you know, be a bit more human. He wouldn't shoot him, I don't know. But like make him unconscious, but don't freaking shoot the guy. Nice, good girl, good girl. <gasps> oh, she ate her dad. Okay, I see where the horror started, you know? What the hell? What the hell? Well, this is not one happy family. And we keep looking at it, you know? Do you think we will survive? Because we are trying to protect the house from zombies getting in, but there is one zombie already inside. Oh, sh oh, but if it's he's there, then the keys for the car are also there. Imagine if he's not zombie and he's just pretending to be zombie. So he can kind of, you know, like steal her and run with her. That would be a cool twist. It was a bad idea to stay inside the house. I'm sorry, I was thinking that it would be a good one. That's it, he's trapped. With that many zombies. Would mom and dad also become zombie? Because we fully die. What, what, what's the procedure, you know? Oh, yes, we will. Shot in the hat. Shot in the hat. Yes. Okay. He's terrified. Is it like the um, horn? Still, he would be the only one who survived, so actually being in a cellar was a great idea from the beginning. Nice. It's a little bit sad. I thought all of them would survive, the ones who were in the house. Oh, hi, doggy. You want to get about four or five men and a couple dogs? We should be wrapped up here about three or four more hours. It's nice that they're going around houses and checking it. Everything appears to be under control. He survived. 
He needs to get out of the cellar, otherwise we'll never find him. We only need a few men to check out the house. Well, he barricaded himself very well. But what if he exits the house and the police thinks that he is a zombie, you know, and shoot him too? You want to get out in that field and build me a bonfire? You, drag that out of here and throw it on the fire. Hit him in the head, right between no! the eyes. So, you know, thinking about that, how many people do you think they killed thinking that those are zombies while they actually weren't? Wow, that's a great police work, you know? I didn't think that the ending would be so disappointed. Disappointing. You know, it's like I was thinking that this might happen. I even like said it out loud, but I was joking about it. I didn't think that this would actually what would happen. So it's just, well, sh you know, imagine you s freaking survived the zombie apocalypse by yourself. And then when the police is there and you're like, oh, now I can relax and like, bam, expendable. Holy sh I think, you know, but, but how many people did they die? Did they kill like this? Holy moly. Um, but other than that, the movie was quite cool, you know? And I really liked that it was it was a horror movie, but it wasn't scary, which was the best part of it, you know? Especially, I'm only saying that I love scary movies a lot, but after the Texas Chain Massacre, I, I am afraid of horror movies. So, if you want to see my full-length reaction video, follow my Patreon, the link is in the video and it's also on the description. Also, please do not forget to subscribe, press like and let me know what you think about my reaction. And I also want to say thank you to my Patrons and I want to have a special shout out to the following Patrons today. Cameron Cross, Spoon2001, Jeremy M, Jason and Tom Castro. Thank you guys very, very much and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.